Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I've been living in the USA for about 12, 13, 14 months now and I'm leaving in two weeks as of the time of recording this video. Of course this video will come out after I'm long gone because I have over 100 recorded videos that have not been released yet. So I'm just stacking them up. I'm just keep on stacking. Why not? I mean, I, I can't miss out on a good opportunity to film something. And I wanted to show you guys off a really special display cabinet. While I've been, uh, you know, living and moving around between this apartment and other parts of America, I've accumulated a lot of mega, obviously. And I've been buying and selling and buying and selling and shipping stuff back to England. Da, da, da. I have three 50 pound suitcases filled with clothing and obviously a lot of uh, electronics and cameras equipment, but mostly Mega and Jazzware, and more Jazzware than recently. This is part one of our video showcasing my kind of collection, and collection's not really the correct term because this is like literally like 1 50th of the stuff I've got in America, but uh, I wanted to at least show off like my personal favorite pieces, my little little pieces that I just uh, keep on display to remind myself that collecting Mega is a top G hobby. As we can see in the dis- So as we can see in this display cabinet, just teeming with life. As David Attenborough would say, there is life everywhere to be found, including in this beautiful display cabinet, just filled to the brim with gorgeous Mega. Well, a lot of my personal favorites and just a lot of the stuff that I've been able to get hold of over the last, uh, you know, over the last year in particular. We're gonna just run down a few of the things I just thought you guys would like to see and I'll talk through some of my favorite little bits. First of all, we gotta start with, oh, my little babies. Look at them, they're so cute. Like, these are the original grunts. And a lot of people don't know, like, just how far the grunts have come. This is the new one in the Ghost of Requiem set and <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, that is a lot of innovation. They increased the size even before they made it into new articulation, and then they've gone through a couple of different iterations. This is the brand new one from the Ghost of Requiem. It is really crazy how far something can come in, uh, in 10 or 13 years. And these two original ones came with the, the Covenant Phantom, uh, the first large-scale Covenant set. So a little bit of history for you. A legacy product in general. We're gonna take this display down because I'm actually leaving in 11 days. I'll drop it in a box. All right, uh, so we'll dump stuff in here while, as we go. This is Kellen's. Uh, this is from Guilin, where we used to live in uh, southern China. One of the cool things that I got uh, while I was in America was a huge figure haul, like absolutely massive. A figure and vehicle. I bought so much, and then I sold the majority of it, but I kept just a few little pieces. And really, like, that's one of my favorite ways to get rare stuff. Like, people always say, like, how can you afford, say, Halo Hero Series 5? I just buy big figure hauls, eventually I'll get what I need and I'll just sell the rest and it'll basically be a free figure. So I sold all of that haul and I kept the Series 5 Brute Bodyguard. Ah, uh, just such good weathering on that figure. I love the gold base plate and now all I'm missing from this wave is Cortana. Yeah, just Cortana, nice. And we also got Blue Team. Blue Team was something, again, it was like, it was on my radar for so long, but I never wanted to buy it at either a scalped at the original, like, when I say scalped, I mean when it first came out, I'd want to buy it scalped, and then I didn't want to buy it at its uh, merchandise value in the future. But I did manage to score this essentially for free because I sold the rest of the stuff. The weathering is a little to be desired on this, but it's still pretty fantastic. The Linda especially looks awesome and just a legacy set. Things like molds like Halo 5 Spartans are very unlikely to ever get produced again, right? So they're only going to increase in value. Another thing I got from this haul was uh, this little set of red and blue marines. Did you trade me one? I, I you trade me, me the blue one? Yeah, because yeah, I got the red one in the haul. The red one's from Warrior Series. What's the blue one from? A customizer pack? I think, so. I think they make a great pair. I also got this skirmisher from that lot. This comes from the uh, Sword Base Invasion. This is now my third skirmisher, but I got another two on the way. You can never really have enough of these skirmy boys. Okay, uh, what else? I got myself some Stormbound, which I'd never got before. Stormbound is starting to be one of the most expensive blind figures on the secondary market, like uh, really popular. We got the Halo 10th Anniversary Elite. Three Promethean Soldiers. The little Craig mech suit that you get in the uh, Razorback Blitz. Thought that was fun to keep. I sold the rest of the alt build. The Billy the Grunt from the Hornet set. The Spartan Oceanic, which doesn't actually have the base plate or the correct weapon, but it's still a nice Spartan. The Halo 2 Brute. Ah, just one of the most exceptional molds Mega's ever done. SDCC Flame Marine. 
And this really nice Eshram, just got a spare one of that. These two figures from the Sword Base Invasion. These are actually uh, really special. These are the Master Chief vs. Boot Honor Guard, but these were the first ever sets I reviewed in Hong Kong. I reviewed these on the Star Ferry, the ferry that goes from Hong Kong Island to the mainland. And yeah, they've stayed with me all this time in the USA. And this brute was actually used as the bodyguard of this apartment. There's a little peephole here that you can see through uh, if someone knocks on the door. And it used to be that the brute uh, was there just guarding uh, the apartment from intruders. Now it's the Golden Atriox. He stands guard over our apartment. I stand in defense of the apartment. <laughs> I stand in defense of this apartment. <laughs> That's good, dude. The rest of the stuff here is honestly just uh, things that I've accumulated from buying the new range. We've got the Gungoose Gambit, Ghost of Requiem, all of the uh, Series 4 Halo Infinite blind bags, including uh, four of the Sentinels. I think, oh no, five of the Sentinels. Yeah, five is a healthy number, I think. And a few of those extra Marines. We got the Arbiter's Quest. Just uh, a load of great stuff. And the last couple to show off, this Spartan Argus from Halo Heroes. That will be in an eventual Quest for Every Halo Hero uh, video. The final figure to show off off this gorgeous gold elite from Matty Crafts. Really nice. And that is my, like, best of, best hits, the tribute act of my collecting in America. I mean, I have bought so much Mega. Passed it on, sold it on, traded it, sent it back to England, all sorts of different things. They are my highlights that I wanted to just keep in that shelf, but now they gotta come down because it's time to leave. So I hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, this will come out uh, when I'm way back in England, already uh, fully rooted back there. But yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the domain, the domizzle, is in this hizzle, but not for much longer, because he's signing off.